What's going down YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about the Cadillac grills, the ENG grills. Uh, you know ENG went out of business. If you haven't watched my other videos, I'm building a super clean 95 Cadillac Fleetwood American Custom Grills. I believe that's the name on his his Facebook. ENG grills and bumper kits went out of business. This guy's name Scott. Um, he's American Custom Grills. He claims they bought all the dies from ENG. So he's making these grills. There's really no feedback out there. Um, he's taking payments through Zelle. Uh, Venmo and Cash App and stuff like that giving discounts if you use that payment plan. It's kind of sketchy It was at first I was like I don't know if the dude's for real or if he's just scamming people just being 100% honest with you But you could pay through PayPal You just got a little bit of a discount think two or three hundred something like that if you used Cash App Zelle or uh, Venmo stuff like that. Anyways, there's no feedback I really haven't seen anybody getting any of the grills haven't seen any of the pictures of the new grills he's building so uh, like I said, these are ENG style grills, castle grills, big daddy grills, and the bumper kits, the booty kits, continental kits, whatever you want to call it. I'm building a 1995 Cadillac Fleetwood, super clean, low miles, one owner car. Uh, we've got the 13 by 7 Zenith on it. Got a full chrome undercarriage. So the rear end was sitting right back there. Pumps are on the wall. We're juicing it up, reinforcing the frame right now. But I'm going to do an unboxing because the grill did come in. He told me about 8 to 10 weeks is what it'd take to build. Um, we was running about 12 weeks now when I finally got it in. He said there was a kind of a hiccup with the chrome shop because people were out due to COVID, which is true. Every shop is going through it. Um, so it kind of, it, it delayed everybody. All the shops are backed up right now because of this. Um, so that's what everybody claims. Anyways, the grill came in. We're going to unbox it. If you're thinking about ordering from American Custom Grills and you're kind of iffy on it, taking a risk, the dude comes through. This video right here is to prove it. It showed up today, it's Saturday, delivered on Saturday. I'm in Texas, he's right down in Houston, so I'm only about an hour, hour and a half from him. Um, he shipped yesterday, it made here today. We're gonna unbox it right now, check out the quality of this grill, and like I said, this is a video to let you know this dude is for real, and he's not scamming people, and no, he's not paying me for this. Um, I just know there's a lot of people out there questioning him, talking a lot of shit, saying that it's a scam. This right here is to prove it, he came through. Let's get to unboxing this grill. All right, so here's the package. Um, I've got my address and stuff covered up there. I do have it right there. You can see, you get it zoomed in here. And that is from American Custom Grills in Sugarland, Texas. The box that came in, uh, got a little, little nick there. I think it's going to be all right, though. He does have the fragile on there. Um, this did come, uh, uh, not UPS delivered it, but FedEx. So uh, Saturday and Sunday deliveries on that. That's good. It's good. We're going to get right on in and open it up. Seeing this is American Custom Grills, 10 pounds. So this is the first time it's going to be unboxing American Custom Grills. Uh, the guy bought everything from ENG to make these grills. So this is for a 1995 Cadillac Fleetwood. Let's get it right on in and get it unboxed. Check out the quality. Got it packaged up pretty good. Nice syllable thing. Nice. All right, so this is the first unboxing. Okay, all right, we'll flip it over. Um, the weight on it feels real good, feels solid. Pretty good so far. It looks pretty good. The back, the welds look good. Let me just get this box out of the way. We'll get this set up here. So the back of it, he said he was waiting on a rust preventative. I'm guessing he goes um, over the welds and stuff to keep it from rusting the, the bare metal, the chrome on the other stuff. So it's coated pretty good. Got the coating on there. Got a Made in USA stamp. American Custom Grills uh, stamp right there. He's got his phone number on it. He's got the grill care. Everything right there with his website. Awesome. Okay. Let's turn it over and check it out. It looks good, man. It looks real good. 
I like it. So I, I've never bought a, a new uh, ENG grill. I think I've had a couple used ones, but uh, so I kind of know the quality. This is pretty good, kind of goes up. I think he said he changed the design there a little bit, uh, but he went back. You notice in the later years of ENG, they had the uh, the teeth, the, the, the bars that came to a point, kind of like a little angle iron there, and everybody liked the round bars, so he went back to that. That's awesome. I like it. The chrome plating on this is phenomenal. It's it's a really really good job. Um, I do a lot of I get a lot a lot of stuff chrome plated, so I'm always kind of real picky on my chrome plating. Um, all this looks good. It looks like it's copper nickel chrome. Um, no sanding scratches, no buffing scratches, anything looks good. There is one little there's a little dimple right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I don't know what that. There's a ding right there on that. So. I'm gonna get with them and see what we can do about that. You can see as I open it up, there's a ding right there. But it's really not that noticeable. But you know, when you pay $1,400 for a grill, don't want on there. Other than that, I'm sure he'll make it right. Like I said, the guy's just getting started. But other than that, the grill looks really good. It looks really good. Um, everything's put together well. The welds look good. I mean, it's nice and heavy. So it's not used with cheap parts, uh, cheap metal or anything. Good to go. Other than that, I think I like it. It's a beautiful grill besides that one ding right there. So I'll get with Scott. Uh, and we'll see about his customer service on that. But other than that, man, if you're thinking about ordering a grill, I would say yes. Um, go ahead, hit him up. Don't be afraid to use the Cash App or the Venmo or Zelle option. Uh, the dude comes through. Uh, he did everything he did like I said a couple week delay, but you know that was out of his hands He did everything he said he was gonna do so I'm happy with it All right, so that's the unboxing as you can see the grill looks great dude came through I think he did an excellent job on executing uh, the new grills from this is American custom grills uh, They bought the old ENG so you can't order from ENG anymore. You got to order from him Scott He's gonna be having the bumper kits. I really want something clean on this car So I think I'm gonna go ahead and order a bumper kit from Scott so I'll go ahead and do that that way I have everything brand new on the car it looks great other than that man the grill the grill is awesome it showed up everything he, he said was honest and I and I paid him cash out uh, I did I opted to do the save the two or three hundred dollars maybe four hundred I don't remember uh, but hit him up he's on Facebook and Instagram Scott at American Custom Grills 832-886-1677 American Custom Grills Dot com. Hit him up on Facebook and Instagram or go to his website, AmericanCustomGrill.com. came through I paid him uh, via cash app so there was no problems like that if you're thinking about getting one of these grills and you want to save some money and do the cash app or the Venmo or the Zelle hey man you can't go wrong he came through everything he said he was gonna do he did like I said a couple weeks delay but I, uh, I believe that was COVID uh, from the employees at the chrome shop because he doesn't get them chromed here in Texas uh, but it kind of slowed down but that's it two weeks ain't bad that's that's nothing um, I'm real real happy with the grill besides one little ding um, you see it was wrapped up got it right there on video it looks like it was probably there before shipping they might have missed it so hey man he's a new company he's getting things ironed out but i think he's doing a great job if you want to buy a grill hit him up he's not paying me for this 
I just know there's not a lot of info out there on the guy, and it's it's kind of risky, and, and you're, you're, you're taking a risk uh, ordering from him and trying to save the money using Cash App. He's right there. American Custom Grill. Um, I believe his phone number is 832-886-1677. He's down around the Houston area. Hit him up, y'all. If you like this episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button when you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. I will probably be ordering a bumper kit from them, Continental kit for my 95 Cadillac. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching this episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors, and we'll see you on the next one. Westside, could you pass me my steel?